If we get married and you live longer than me, I want you to have me cremated, then mix my ashes with chili powder and eat. All so I can tear that butt up one last time. When I die, I want that joke to be buried with me so that no one has to hear it ever again. That's fair, it's overused. What would you like? Bad pickup line, question, roast, you ask me. I haven't been roasted. Go for it. Alright. If your butt was any flatter, conspiracy theorists all over the world would use you as living proof. Roses are red, violets are blue, I don't smoke crack, but sometimes I do. Roses are red, I can't tell if that's a joke, I'll roll you a blunt as I don't have the budget for coke. Roses are red, it was really a joke. I'll take the Smirnoff, you can do the coke. Roses are red, I've only done coke twice. Smirnoff is icky, but I... <laughs> Smirnoff is icky, but how about a Ciroc ice? Roses are red, this is quite the task. Should we end this rhyme? I thought I'd ask. Roses are red, you can quit if you'd like to. For I have this motto, I won't finish before you do. Oh, see they said double entendre, that's a good one, that's five points. You match with Chi Ling on 2019, this, basically this, this month, in May. Well, now it's June. Last month. Anyway, he says, Hey, what's up? LMAO, just in London at the moment, what about you? Uh, not much, I'm just Chi Ling. Wow, okay, you just did that. You don't have to hold the car door open for me. Oh my god. You don't have to hold the car door open for me, but if you could hold my legs back while you pile drive me, I'd appreciate that. I mean, that's a humble request. <coughs> Sorry, I just got a sickness for that thickness. You calling me fat? What the actual F, bruh? Well, this didn't go as planned. I think I might have a cure for singleness. You should try Tinder. I hear the guys on there suck, though. They're like, super persistent and won't let something hopeless go. It's like they, they don't understand how pointless it is to keep pushing and pushing. So unappealing, you know? You're cute. You match with Karen on December 31st, 2018. You're so cute, it's scaring me. ba -dum -tsh. Huh? I, I tried to make a pun out of your name, but I guess you didn't care enough to notice. ba -dum -tsh. What? <laughs> Karen is a senile old woman. Kaja's 25, and she just wants someone to look at her the same way Trump looks at his daughter, and can anyone do that for her? Can anyone at all? On our first date, I'll carve our initials into a tree. It's the most romantic way of letting you know I have a knife. Nice job censoring her name, idiot. <laughs> oh, this is a big-ass post. Alright, I'm ready to read this big old big boy post. Oh boy. Did you hear about the drummer who gave all his daughters the same name? What? He named them Anna 1, Anna 2, Anna 1, 2, 3, 4. Not gonna lie, I'm disappointed. Reality is often disappointing. Deep. Give me a topic and I'll try to turn it into a pickup line. Uh, computing. <laughs> Are you a compressed file? Because I'd love to unzip you. Uh, I'm giving up on you. Oh damn, I'm insulted. Yeah, well, gotta give better responses if you want to have a convo. I cannot help having dead chat. It's an affliction I can't overcome. Who taught you such dead chat? Born this way, can't help it. Have you got any good jokes you can tell me? Damn, uh, probably not. Humor also not my forte. You got any other hidden talents? You're really not impressing me, Anna. Not gonna lie, I'm a dull person. I do computing. I'm starting game development in September. I can outdrink most people, I spend way too much money on clothes and shoes, but actual human interaction parts I suck at, to be honest. Anna, it's cause you've been staring at computer screens all day. You gotta get out in the real world. Also, you definitely can't outdrink me. I'm used to computers, hon. Even when I get out, I process stuff like one. Interactions don't work like programs do. Yeah, I figured that. I'll put it in your language. If Fabian equals fit, then dot slash send underscore nudes dot exe. If Anna equals impressed, true, send underscore nudes dot jpeg file reader dot open. If trying underscore two underscore smash equals true, your underscore number equals input digits. If location is close by, sending equals true. Def underscore location close by. If location equals close by false, dot backslash send underscore nudes dot exe. This probably makes more sense to you than real human language does. 
Location equals Kent. Close by equals London slash Kent. And yes, it actually does. Human interaction involves emotions and stuff and holding a convo. PC works with facts. Back underscore in underscore London underscore soon dot exe. Yeah, it's a shame humans have brains, probably what got us this far, but we could have fit so much more RAM in there. Remove emotions, more space for other things. You ever experienced an emotion? Processing. Error, file not found. Except wanting me to RAM my disk into your hard drive? Much better line than your opener. And uh, just send your Snapchat. Oh yeah, hi, hello. Who, who just fucking... <laughs> Looks like I got Anna Snapchat. Nice. <laughs> Do you know what's the similarity between me and your exams? What? They're both hard. And they'll pass quickly. But you gotta take it first. Dongo 22 is a good boy and he goes to obedience school. He's just a small town doggo who took the midnight train going anywhere and he likes food, walks, and cuddling. And you match with Dongo, he's gonna say, I don't know what you're looking for on this app, but I hope you find it slash them and that they make you happy. I do know, however, that I made this account to send puppy gifts and will send them if you want. You are my hero! Puppy gifts, please! Thank you! Drone strike this coochie like it's a hospital in Yemen. Okay. Wanna get drunk, eat pizza, and let me touch your butt? I'm lactose intolerant, so when you touch my butt, I'll shard all over you. That would be a disaster, so get drunk, eat carrot sticks and hummus? Perfect. Those foods have all the right proprieties to make my poop stay solid. And that's what it's all about, folks. Emma's 18. And at least you won't have to feel bad about it, your receding hairline. How dare you, Emma. My hairline is beautiful and full. How dare you. I have my exams in two hours. Just letting you know so you feel good about yourself. Exam, SMH. It's good to know that I'm higher than your exam and your priority list. Good luck, though. Yeah, my priorities suck. So who's better at sucking, you or your priorities? You have the most beautiful eyes. Thanks. So what's up, cutie? Talking to this really cool dude. Really? Would I know him? Yeah, I'm going on a date with him tomorrow night after I get off work. No, you don't know him. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That just debuffed my confidence stat. I'd put your face on a stamp just so I could lick the back of your head. What? Wanna start a band? Let's just move right on past that topic, yeah man? <laughs> this, uh... Ridiculously obvious Snapchat filter. Well, someone gotta say about that, they gotta say... You know, the filter is pretty obvious, right? Like, you're not fooling anyone. <laughs> Finally someone notices. I've had this 70-year-old man trying to screw me for like... Four hours now. You look fantastic. Would you like to undress in my bathroom? <laughs> That's right. Master of seduction over here. Who whispers things in your ear like, I did the laundry. Bathroom is clean. Dishes are done. Jesus Christ. I'm getting wet. Goddamn right you are. I know what you want. This is a dude using the girl filter. Seventh person in 147. This is for a research for UT Sociology Final. Dope. Bro, you can still get it. Still get what? Mmm. -hmm. Very bold of you. Girls on Tinder. Aw, did somebody get addicted to receiving validation from strangers on social media? Maybe. I don't feel validated until I read a comment that says, Damien, I love your voice. Your laugh. I, I, th <laughs> I think about this one comment I saw on this these MK videos. Every day. And it's, uh, your laugh increases my HP. It was something along the lines of that, and I think about it every day and it tickles my soul. How's Tinder going for you? <laughs> Better than it is for you, virgin. Virgin? So your mama doesn't count? Oh! <laughs> nice! Blank and blank. Professional snowshoers at Arby's. Hello, and welcome. If you're confused, fear not, and allow me, no, us, to explain. We share the same apartment, major, job, and now, if you're lucky, maybe we'll share you too. <laughs> interesting. Swipe one and get one free. Neither of us is an econ major, but we're pretty sure this is a good deal. Are you here for good sex? <sighs> no. Perfect, you matched with the right guy. Hey! Hey, how are you? 
I'm good, you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clear the air now. I'm 16, so if that's- FBI, open up! FBI says no. Your common sense is on your side, my friend. I found my heaven on earth. <laughs> my hoe. <laughs> wow. Coochie so good I say my own name during sex. We love that self-confidence. Hey, sexy. I'm horny. So when do you want to smash? When works for you. Let me ask my mom. <laughs> FBI wow, very impressive. So if you work for a finance company, that means you're good with numbers, right? <laughs> for the most part, yes. Do you mind if I test you? Sure. If you're good with numbers, then what's yours? Oh, that's a good line. That's 15 points to that gent. Or lady, I don't know how the roles were. Or maybe they're both gents, or maybe they're both ladies. I don't judge. I just give out the points. <laughs> well, look who came crawling back, you miserable sack of crap. This is the best message I've ever received on Tinder, thank you. Aw, we matched. God freaking damn it. I figured you'd be a creep enough to click, and I'm just gross to do the same thing. Donica and I have been waiting for your response. I went ahead and swiped left on like a hundred people without really watching. Cast a wide net. All I caught was my frickin' no. <laughs> All he caught was his sister. Haven't we matched before? Yeah, we did. Why did we unmatch? We went on a date. That'll do it. April. <laughs> no, it's May. You're the 17th person to make that joke since I've been on here. Don't think you're original, hun. You're boring. Nope, it's May. At least my name didn't come from a baby book. <laughs> no, it came from a calendar, you st stupid. <laughs> Chocolate milk is perfect. You can have it cold in the summer or hot in the winter. The pinnacle of human creation. No, that would be you. God damn, that was smooth. Press his nurse call button. Sexy nurse voice. Can I help you? I put my pants again, I need you to change the... <laughs> I put my pants again. I need you to change them in the sheets immediately. God damn it. <laughs> Mindy. Account run by Mindy's boyfriend, but I need someone to take her off my hands. She on my last nerve. Ask me if I'm a penguin. 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 Congrats, you've asked me for a month straight. Are you a penguin? <laughs> no, I'm not. Thanks for asking, though. Screw off. Please think of your brain cells before you do this stuff. It must fry them so severely. Nice to match with you. I like your pics. Hell yeah, your interests seem pretty on par with mine. Can we just skip the small talk and just go skating at a park, then cuddle and weeb out about anime? Crap, that sounds awesome, honestly, lol. What up? You trying to let me rub grape jam on your body? Only if I can rub peanut butter on you. Match made in heaven. Just got back from the store, I've got a jar of Smuckers and a tub of Jif. <laughs> Let's meet up then. You got any bread or will we make it a sandwich? <laughs> Why not both? How do you always have the right answers? Oh no, Amanda just is that right kind of gal for you, my friend. Wow, you have a long tongue? <laughs> That's my best pickup line. Yeah, it's fake. Oh, damn, how does one get a fake tongue? My amazing editing skills. Hmm. Oh, truly fascinating. Can you edit my schween longer? Probably, but I ain't trying to stare at a picture of that. Oh, it's okay. You'd spend the whole time struggling to find it. <laughs> it's a joke, I swear. So do you have any good jokes? Oh, yes, of course. This one's my go-to. So two whales walk into a bar. The first goes, Woo! And the second whale says, Steve, what the hell was that? And that's it. I'm... It's- it's funnier in person, I think, haha. <laughs> okay, here's our first date. I take you to this fancy Italian restaurant downtown I've been wanting to try out, called Mums. It's quiet and serene. We set at a candlelit table. We both order the spaghetti and I make an obligatory Lady in the Tramp joke. After conversation over drinks, we go back to my place. We anxiously make eye contact as our hearts begin to beat faster. I kiss you and it takes your breath away. You, your palms get sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on your sweater already. Mum's spaghetti. What do you think of that idea? Shady? She stopped replying, but it was entirely worth it. That is a seriously contagious smile. Really glad we matched.
How's your Friday night? Oh, yikes. I, I hope you didn't catch it. I just might. <laughs> Never been so glad to be unvaccinated. Hold on. Can we go back on how you said you're unvaccinated? <laughs> That's a total joke. I'm entirely vaccinated. All right, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I am super autistic, though. <laughs> hey, Sam, how's it going? The name's Shannon. <laughs> Lol, wrong name there. Holy frick, that's embarrassing. I can't say I've ever had someone call me the wrong name before, lol. Would you like to try again? Oh wow, a second chance? Well, I won't say no to that. Hey Sam, how's it going? Hey Anna, do you like bread? Yeah. A follow-up question. Do you like being choked? Hell yeah. You know, I wasn't prepared for that to work. Oh well, I'm super kinky, so get used to it. Haha, <laughs> what do you like? Ropes. Ah, me too. Well, what's your favorite knot? Any knot. Noose? Because, same. Suicide at my place later? That's my kink. Yeah, I'll be right there. Oh, this is so romantic. Partners for life. Here we've got Tiffany, an 18-year-old model less than a mile away. If you ain't tall, don't give me that call. If you ain't rich, I ain't freaking with you, boy. If you ain't got a 4.0, why are you even trying, though? If you ain't Asian, you don't fit the equation. I'm just kidding, I have low standards and I'm desperate. Similar to 48% of Brits, I want to be side EU. Well, like the UK, you're gonna have to pull out. Damn, at least let us come to a deal first. A deal or no deal, I'd go down on you like the value of the pound sterling. You keep talking like that and you'll be leaving the single market long before the UK does. She unmatched. What's cooking good looking? Oh frick, my pizza has been in the oven for 40 minutes. Why would you unmatch that? That's the perfect man. He can cook, kind of. Right, so this next guy's profile picture is this. So we know we're in for something incredible. <laughs> My ex left me for someone with two arms, hoping to do better and find someone with three arms. <laughs> Don't give up guys, okay? I'm telling you, you can do it. I didn't and I finally my Tinder day let me get in her pants. Look, I'm... <laughs> Yes, hard work pays off my boys, okay? Get that bread. Here we've got Selena, uh, 14 kilometers away and your parents will love me, including your dad, especially your dad. Next thing you know, I'm your stepmom. <laughs> Has this person been watching my Pornhub search history? Like, <laughs> I've been around the block enough to know where this is going. Uh, <laughs> stepmom, I've heard those words before. I saw in your bio that you're a pro Minecraft player. Yeah. Well, it's more of a joke. I don't play Minecraft anymore. Ugh, heathen, unmatcher. Oh, what a relief. I hate having competition. The bio said she's a preschool teacher, so I had to test her skills. What's two plus two? Four. What's four minus two? Two. What's two minus two? Zero. Hell yeah, blaze it, brother. Um, excuse me, there are kids here. This is a school. You can't, um, I'm sorry. You can't be talking about the big smoke. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, this is the best day of my life. I just had my first Tinder match and I think I'm in love. Okay, look what she said. It's this gorgeous Michaela saying, kill yourself, mate. When two masters of conversation meet. Eight, what's up? Okay, you're master of conversation, brilliant. Nothing much, you, no much, you. Not much, you? Not a lot, and, and and yourself? Nothing really. What about you? Eh, nothing exciting, TBH. Eh, et tu? Um, made up language. And then we have actual made up language. Okay, radical, gnarly bro, hi, <laughs> whatever. And then here we can just see the very top of what the frick? No need for pickup lines. When all I gotta do is tell the truth. The truth is, I'm gonna tie you up, spank you, and choke you while you're free. Okay. The girl, respect for you, but I'm looking for someone to choke me up with feelings of love. But thank you, okay? Okay, I'm beginning to think this isn't a very Christian app. Um, I just want I just want some cuddles and, and maybe, maybe a couple prayers while I'm at it. If you were a character in Game of Thrones, which would you be? Oh, good leading question. 10 out of 10. Probably Brienne of Tarth. I, I don't watch it as... I don't know who that is. Because I'm tall, I commit to things hardcore, and I'm probably a lesbian. And... Okay, this probably means something in Game of Thrones, that, but I haven't seen it yet. I mean, <laughs> you call me a heretic, but I haven't seen Game of Thrones yet, so... Yeah, I guess there's a joke I'm missing here. <laughs> Everyone wants a goth boy, but when the time comes for you to dick her down in a pool of goat blood while surrounded by sacrificial pagan flames so she can sub in Baphomet, you'll want to complain, SMH. Honestly, like, I wouldn't say no. Like, let's be, let's be quite frank here. So, how does a girl like you end up on an app like this? 
<laughs> Funny you asked. Well, existential dread. Hey, I know we matched like four months ago, but to make up for it, I have a choose your adventure game for you to play. Here is 50 Cent. He's a dog and he needs help. He's getting out of a scary forest and your replies will help guide him to safety. Left or right? You want this pussy or what? Stop playing games. And secondly, this is like, this is a blatant rip off of the duck story, right? <laughs> like from that first Tinder video. That's messed up, bro. That's plagiarism. Okay, I'm reporting you. What's up? I'm six foot two. <laughs> What's up? I'm chronically depressed. Wait, are we not just saying fun facts about ourselves? A uh, fun fact or a corny joke? Yeah, it should be a fun fact. The second tallest mountain in the world is K2. Despite being shorter than Everest, K2 is considerably more dangerous to climb. More climbers die attempting to climb K2 than any other mountain. Although K2 has the most killer heights, I'd still have to say K8 has the most killer looks. Wouldn't you say K? Ha <laughs> ha Whoa, color me impressed. And I wish that was me. And here we've got the self-assigned, a great value brand Mia Khalifa, the X. Right, so this person says to Ellen, and and firstly, I just want to say, clean up your notifications, mate. Like, honestly, what's going on? <laughs> is, that, is that a Bumble notification as well? Like, as well as Tinder? You, you sly dog. I'm feeling pretty awesome right about now. Do you mean lonesome? Right, yeah, without the Ellen. Holy crap, that's legitimately the best pickup line I've ever heard. And next up, we've got a conversation with Charizard or something. Uh, can you set me up with your friend in the fourth picture, please? Okay, but just so you know, she got the same thing you have. Lol. Which... which is? What do you... what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean by that. A, a dick. She has, Are you on the left or the right in the picture? Box. W wow, that's super hot. Bork, dick bork. Can I hump your leg? Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, what is this? When and where? I'm already starting to pee a little. Where you at, BB? UCLA tonight, and just for one night. What's your major, BB? Doggy style. Oh, really? Oh, cool. I'm going into cosmetology. I think your face needs some moisturizer. Wow, okay. I'm triggered. I've been practicing my craft for 20 plus years, and you just offend me like this? Let me just say, your face looks like it has some ligma on it. <laughs> what? No. The frick is lig- No, no! Ooh. Ligma nuts. Boy. Oh, okay, I, I see. How do you remove Ligma? The, the same way you remove- Oh my- No. No, no, how's that? No! Sigma nuts be. I'm 5 feet and 11 inches. They are two different measurements. Right, so your willy is 11 inches and you're 5 feet tall. No, no, my schlong is 5 feet and I'm 11 inches tall. I'm like a duck, you know. I have the same ratio as a duck. I'm afraid I'm out of milk. Oh, that's rough. Oh crap, I, I thought you were the dairy farmer. My bad, G. No worries. Now I feel bad. I only swipe right on dairy farmers. Well, then this is awkward. Well, I mean, there's an easy fix for they. That. Like? Well, it involves becoming a dairy farmer. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. That's a little close-minded of you, don't you think? I mean, all respect for dairy farmers, but I just don't see that in my future. My ancestors are insulted. A woman like you has the perfect physique to be a dairy farmer. Sturdy, but gentle hands to tend to the others. A waste of God-given talent to be sure. Sturdy, but gentle, <laughs> Mal. Let me bring you back to the family farm. Try your hand at it, and you'll realize that the only time you feel whole is when you're churning butter. No thanks, I'm, I'm good with buying it from the store. I can get you a discount if you buy directly from my parents' farm. Not in the need of any butter right now, but I'll take you up on that some other time. I mean, we got milk, cheese, cream, 50% off, hit me up. Lol, okay. I don't eat that much dairy that- I swear this isn't even a pickup, this is just this dude advertising his dairy. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. I don't think it's that good for you. <laughs> Doesn't drinking another animal's milk sound weird? Or like, that's fine, but drinking human milk as an adult is gross? Like, what the frick? That doesn't even make sense. But anyways, I'm in school for marketing, not dairy farming, so I'm just trying to help my family's business bust down. You feel? Yeah, yeah, I got you. What a weird, like... <laughs> so what does your family farm sell? My family doesn't have a farm. So how do you make money? I have my own job. At the farm? There's no farm. I don't understand. What? I don't understand. My family doesn't have a farm. N none of us work at a farm. We all have jobs that don't involve a farm. So, are you homeless? OMG, I'm not explaining this anymore. 
you sound a little upset. I I could raise that discount to 75% if you won. So did you smash? Like what happened? We need updates, pal. My three favorite things are weenie jokes and not using commas. Well, my poo poker is a joke, so I think we might be a good match. Also, my two favorite things are eating, pussy, and using unnecessary commas. What's your favorite color? <laughs> I actually don't have one. Um, pick a side, woman. Well, whatever color you said, I was gonna say that I'll pick us up condoms in that color, but not having one works for me too. Lumao. So you made it all the way to 32 without having children? Do you ever want them or is it childless for life? Well, that's quite a personal question to open up with now, isn't it? What if I had a child and she died? Or what if I was sexually abused and can't have children because of it? Or what if I'm infertile? You really want to open up with this kind of discussion? I bet there isn't a single other question in the world that would get five immediate responses. As a conversation starter, I think it's the best question I've ever asked. I, I guess I wish that was me. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, what? This is going to sound crazy, but I've seen you at Publix <laughs> on aisle three where the snacks are. I, I think aisle three is the cereal section. Your mom, get your facts right. Since you work at a mechanics, can I put my dipstick in your oil hole? If you put that alternator belt around my neck, sure. Sounds good. Can you blow my head gasket? As long as you put that engine oil in me. Yeah, I'll put it in your camshaft. I feel perverted reading this. My senses will be going wild. Okay, I'm impressed, not gonna lie. Are you actually? Yeah, that was good. Well done, you passed the MOT. Okay, here we've got Maddie, uh, 23 years old, saying Bigfoot is real and God himself will not be able to protect that hairy f when I find him. You remind me of Amari Cooper, not sure why. A guy? Okay. Something about your name, I can't peg it though. The name is Imari, by the way. K. It's a joke, maybe. K. Hey, you swipe right. Don't be disappointed and start saying K because someone is trying to make a playful conversation based off your non-existent bio. It's not my fault John Gruden wanted to send your ass to Dallas. Are you a country road? Because I need you to take me home. <laughs> That's a good one. Does this mean we're married now? Honey, we've got three kids. Are you always forget about Albert whenever it's convenient for you. You're the one that wanted to have a fourth kid and now we have him. God, I can't stand you sometimes. Wow, we really need a divorce. <laughs> Freaking hell. After all I've done for you and the kids, this is what it comes to? You're not the girl I used to know. This is ridiculous. After I make up sex, we're gonna have a real talk about what's going on. My mother was right about you. All you do is complain about your job all day. Come home and drink while watching TV. I'm done. I'm leaving and I'm taking the kids. Don't worry, they aren't yours. Do you ever wonder why they look like your best friend, John? My first ever Tinder date pulled a set of D&D &D dice out of his pocket and said, you know I keep that motherfucking thing on me. But Gloria, you know I'm straight, so is spaghetti, until it gets wet. So, will you go out with me? I'm sorry, but I'm sapiosexual. Sapio what? What? I'm only attracted to intelligent people. That's okay, I can understand. We all crave for the things that we don't have. <laughs> Top or bottom? Middle. Sometimes jungle. Never met anyone whose name rhymes with mine. Pine. I eat this on the first date. I usually just eat dinner. You hear the one about the airplane? No. Eh, it'd probably go over your head. I'm pretty smart. Try me. Dot dot dot. I'm doing a TikTok of pickup lines from guys in each state, so give me your best line. Roses are red. I own just one cat. You're a 6 out of 10, but I'd still hit that. If I send you feet pictures, will you send me 50 pounds? Feet not really my thing. Do you know anyone who likes feet? Thought you girls loved feet as you're always demanding more than six of them. Want to hear a pickup line? Yeah, sure. Are you a hen? Because you are exactly what I'm looking for. Well, I consider myself more an egg because I'm looking to get laid. What? Oh, come on. Be my boyfriend. Okay. Girls, when they see my Tinder profile, the fastest left in the West. Girls be like, shoot your shot, then be playing D1 defense. Hey, cutie, what's up? Not much, just studying this dialect of Japanese called Sugundis. So sick. May I ask why you're studying it? So you can Sugundis nuts. <laughs> How are you single? Years of practice. We are in a time where people must stay at home, where they are forced to write a crappy poem. And while people are isolated in many cities, I'd still like to see your quarantine titties. <laughs> I love it. Hell, that's the best thing I've heard in a while. Aw, oh, thank you. But, uh, did, did he get the titties, though? Hey, if you could describe your sex life by a song title, what would it be? Beat it. Do you want a boyfriend? Not really. Perfect. Nice to meet you. Sent the letter E to this girl on ship by accident, but may have come on too strong. E. A. Sports. It's in the game. I think I love you. Yeah, that's a keeper. <laughs> It's me, Mario. When I was four, my brother was half my age. Now I'm 22. How old is he now? 11. Let's have a hard one next time. Imagine being a dog that's just trying to chill at a party and then some girl from a dating app who's fluent in sarcasm spends the entire night aggressively petting you. Finger guns. Sad finger guns. Ah, you'll get him next time, champ. What's up, Olivia? The stars. Wow, you seem to know a lot about space. I wish, lol. Let me see Uranus. 
I don't want my parents to know I'm gay. Do you want to go on a date? Wow, this is wild. They're those kind of parents, huh? Yeah, both my dads are crazy. <laughs> You freaking cute. You talk to your mother with that mouth? No, but I kiss you with this mouth. Yeah, we should frick. Gang, talk about life. <laughs> also, are you really 9'6 or is that something else? No, I'm actually almost 10 feet tall. It's pretty crazy. Holy crap, that's like a giant. I'm 5'3. So short compared to you. Yeah, I'm literally like double your height. I dig it though, not gonna lie. I like tall guys, lol. Hi, what do you do? That's the big question, isn't it? What do we all do? What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? Well, now you can just say you're unemployed and move on. <laughs> Corona does not affect objects. Thank God I'm a woman. Blessed to be a dishwasher. What's up, cutie pie? Hold me like one of those bottles of wine. By the neck? How did the Japanese Hawaiian say hello? Aroha. Come on. How many crappy openers do you get about your name? Way too many. That's so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. Why is it always Despacito? Nobody wants to hear any other song ever. Wow, this is the first time I've got a super like. <laughs> cool, you just got Tinder then or what? Nope, I've had Tinder for two years. I have train facts. I have a ding dong. Well, I'm just here to give you train facts. And I'm here to give you a ding dong. It seems like we are at an impasse, much like two trains on a single track. I sexually identify as Michael Jackson. My preferred pronouns are he he, spoken word, theater and history enthusiast. Not funny, didn't laugh. Yeah, I'm DTF. Down to finally be in a relationship with someone that understands how many dogs I need around me at all times and supports my dreams. Did you hear about the guy who lost his whole left side of his body? He's all right now. My mama said that if he doesn't like fruit jokes to let that man go. Turkish? Turkish. Single? Single. Hotel? Oh man, I, she better have finished it right. Looks like I just turned to the right page. Oh, you absolutely have. Although unfortunately I've heard that pun a million times. There's no freaking way you just said that. <laughs> oh, they did, Emilio. What makes you want to create a fake account? Jerk move. Why do you think I'm not a real account? You're pretty cute because I I tried to frick this girl in real life and it didn't work. <laughs> hey, hey, let's frick. Hey, let's not. After marriage. Wow, don't jump to conclusions. Ha ha ha. That one it back. How are you? Nine. Nine what? Inches. Bye. Away from going on vacation. I'm so stressed. You didn't seem to be the Tinder type. Are you here because of quarantine? Why are you so judgmental? I just asked. I'm not judgmental. A single pick and no bio hence asked. Bio is not needed for beautiful girl. That is why you should have one. <laughs> Hey, I think you're cute as hell, and I'm slowly collecting booty pics from every country during quarantine. Hehe, <laughs> wanna be my Miss Brazil? Ha, <laughs> that's cute. I accept your invitation. Nice. Let me eat you out. I mean, take you out to eat. Ugh, auto-correct. I'll come. I mean, come, of course. Happy Sunday. So what has made you smile this weekend, besides matching with me? I'd say mine is volunteering for the Tim Tebow Prom for Mental Disabilities. I'm headed to Bloomington today, and if my Hoosiers could win, I'm sure that would complete my weekend. Very pretty girl, by the way. Oh, that's super cool, but how's your arm? What do you mean? Oh, I thought you broke it patting yourself on the back. Hey, can I possibly maybe borrow $5? I'll pay you back. Where do you live, Moosehorn? Ho 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 ho! Job link. You like Sydney's photo. I've just removed all the sofas and chairs from my house. Why's that? So you can sit on my face. On my way. Dog emoji. I like your dog. Rover, get back here right now. I told you not to chase after snacks. I'm sorry, you can be a handful. Very disobedient. I'm a terrible Asian. I'm a good driver, not a doctor or lawyer, and the closest thing I got to A's in university was my bra size. I want to be your best friend. Just got friend zone on Tinder. That's new. I'm half thigh, so if you send me a ding dong pic, I might send you one back. My ass got banned on Tinder, but you're sexy AF, huh? Lol, why'd you get banned? Some girl had I need toilet paper in her bio, and I said my mouth doubles as toilet paper. She called me a disgusting pig and reported me. Now I can do all the flirting I want with zero consequences. What are you gonna do? Come over? I believe that sex is opposite of laugh because laugh is ha 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 while sex is ah 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 lamau. If you want to experience tornado blowjob PM me. Tornado blowjob? What the f what is that? Face down, ass up. That's the way I get the skittle that rolled under my couch. Understandable. If you're reading this, you've been in a coma for almost 20 years now. We're trying a new technique. We don't know where this message will end up in your dream, but we hope we're getting through. Lol. Oh well. So you want to hang out? Dude, I don't know how much more clear I can be. No, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Stay home. WTF? Why are you on here then? There is no pandemic. There isn't even a virus. Uh. This poem to you, Lily, might seem rather silly, for we are miles apart, and that may break our heart. However, I feel kind of lucky, as you're cute as a ducky. Perhaps my mind you'll tease in a bit of conversation, please. Just frick me already. <laughs> Are you really into BDSM? <laughs> I meant like, let's play some games where I can suggest some movies or shows. I am into BDSM though. How did you know? Your bio. And I'm down for that. I'm also down to be tied up in your dungeon, lol. Haha, <laughs> what? I don't mention BDSM in my bio. Well, Dungeon Master gave it away, at least so I thought. Now I realize that may be a game reference. <laughs> That's the person who runs Dungeons and Dragons. I'm pretty, you're pretty, let's go home and stare at each other. You got one thing right. Ooh, self-burn. Those are rare. Titanic. Titanic. Titan. Titta. Tit. Yes, please. <laughs> that is not where I intended for this to go. Well, I did, but not that fast. Damn, and it must be pretty rewarding working in a dementia home. That's an amazing thing to do. I love my job. Very blessed. The nicest residence. Yeah, I bet. How long have you been doing it? Three years. Damn, it must be pretty rewarding working in a dementia home. That's an amazing thing to do. It is, but it can be very exhausting, to be honest. It's worth it, though. <laughs> 
Come on. Damn girl, you're a Minecraft block? Cause I dig you. Noice. Are you lava? No. Why? Cause you're gonna make me lose all my stuff. Wow. I- You wanna play Minecraft together? Yes. Damn baby girl, you cute as hell. Sorry, that was douchey. Let me try again. Wow, my lady, you are the most wonderful lady I've ever seen. Okay, those are the extremes. I'm somewhere in between. Lamau, I'm drunk. Goodbye. <laughs> Honestly, might be some of my favorite messages I've received on this app. Question. What weighs more? A gallon of water or a gallon of butane? They weigh the same. A gallon is a gallon is a gallon. What you got next? Danny, Danny, Danny. The gallon of water weighs more. Butane is a lighter fluid. I know what butane is, lol, but a gallon is a gallon? Is it not? <sighs> hey there, I was gonna make a pun about your name, but I figured every guy must do that. Lamal, they do. They are not well seasoned when it comes to these pickup lines. Nice. Nine in ten real women would recommend Dave to a friend. David. <laughs> nice. You said dog pics, right? That is so precious, thank you. To quote John Wick, I have served, I will of service. Will be. Damn it, I fricked up. The effort was there, that's what matters most. Usually girls don't tell me that after we've slept together, but then I still get ghosted. That's so sad, I'm sorry. Just kidding, I don't have sex. Alright, let's take roll here. Jay Quellen? Is Jay Quellen here? Uh, you mean Jacqueline? I'm going to throw you out the guy window. <laughs> What would you do if we were together right now? Eat nugs, obviously. And then... Eat the fries. It's a whole meal, Quinn. Then what will you eat? Well, that depends. If I got the apples with my Happy Meal... Apples. Oh, come on. You got an Instagram, Quinn? Hi, Jen. I'm Ben. Hi, Ben. I'm Jen. Nice to meet you, Jen. Do you want to be my friend? I'd love to be your friend, Ben. You seem like a solid 10. <laughs> a match made in heaven. I'm like a mosquito, except I don't stop sucking when you slap me. Oh, my. Do you want to hear an absolutely terrible pickup line? Absolutely. Did you hear they're remaking the movie Freddy Got Fingered? Rumor has it you and I are starring. I can't wait till production resumes. Without the male lead, it's a pretty one-sided story about a girl and her fingers. Pick a topic, I'll make a pickup line. Dragons. Sure, I'll call you Nighthawk, because you'll call me Dragon anyway. I mean, come on, I'll be the best thing you'll ever ride, lol. Okay, I see you. Your turn, pick a topic. Hmm, Spider-Man. My spidey senses are the only thing tingling right now. <laughs> okay, I am 100% down for an Animal Crossing date. I'm still grinding, though, so I suggest the first date to be on your island, and I'll bring some stuff over. Sounds like a plan. What's your friend code? Nice. I have to wake up pretty early tomorrow, so I guess I'll be turning on two alarms tonight. Pimples? Zero. Blackheads? Zero. Chances of getting a match even with Tender making the passport feature free for all? Zero. What's your current quarantine fantasy? For it to frickin' end. When I laugh, my boobs jiggle, so if you're funny, we both win. <laughs> a smart girl's guide to boys. Conversation starters. I wish they'd teach us more about Vikings. I wish they'd teach us more about Vikings. What the frick? Beautiful, amazing, unique, alluring, brilliant, passionate, breathtaking, but enough about you. I eat well, are you one of those people who believe the hype and are scared of the virus, lol? Uh, yeah, I have multiple nurse friends and I'm immune suppressed, lol. No germs, please. Lamau, I don't have germs. Damn, chill. I'm chillin'. Never mind, I was gonna ask you to hang out, but you're one of those weirdo types. <laughs> I'm not weird, dude. Do you think the CDC is just wildin'? All the nurses and doctors that are struggling at work just to keep up are lying? Where's this going? Nowhere, cause you're a dumb so you like books? Name one author. Oh, frick. Um, there's King Author. He pulled a sword out of a rock. So did you set your location to Edinburgh or? Cause I'm bored. Why Edinburgh? You know so much about Scotland? Nope. You know what this is? Nope. Me carrying this conversation. See, this is the original material I've been looking for. Well played. Thank you, thank you. I bet you won't see the next one coming. I probably won't, but hit me with it. One. Huh? Lama what? I knew you wouldn't see that one coming. Does your last name rhyme with fruit swirl? No, it does not. Huh, that's weird. Cause you look like a very cute girl. They weren't lying when they said the devil is attractive. Sometimes she does get ready. Well, she's still cute. She said thank you. And that she sighed. Well, tell her if she doesn't want to be a devil anymore, she could get some Jesus anytime. That's the best pickup line ever. I would straight up give you my virginity if you asked for it. Which of the three options is more suited for you? One, I am a bot and I don't chat here often. Two, I match with you by accident and I will never reply to your message. Three, I will chat with you no matter what. I would appreciate your soonest reply, Greta. Three, please tick this box to prove you are not a robot. Have to be sure, you know. Um, what? Did you really try to tick the box with your finger? Maybe. Oh, well, she's real. Tinder should add a remind me later option for those profiles you can't decide. How often does someone kick it off by saying you're their favorite season? Hmm, I'd say I'd probably get a name pun 65% of the time. Are they all bad puns? Or would you say some are good? Nice. Hi there, so you cute as hell. I'm trying to get nudes from all 50 states during quarantine. Lol, would you be my Miss Washington? Lamau. Sure. Julia, I was hit by a truck once. <laughs> Jesus. Terrible opener, but wow, I didn't see your arm until just now. Not to be weird, but my sister has a con congenital limb deficiency too. Her right arm. Is she single? Does she want to split a pair of gloves? Is there actually a rivalry between Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan? No, it's not at all. But have you inferior potassium than Kazakhstan? Lol, how do you know that little known facts? I watched a great documentary on the powerhouse of Central Asia that is Kazakhstan. Do you study something related to this? No, just really interested in potassium. Did you know that potassium is the second biggest industry in Kazakhstan after 
prostitution? You're at the store shopping, going about your business, getting your favorite food. You see me in the distance, my arm filled with limes. I walk past you and stumble, spilling all of my limes. My face burns bright red as I scramble on the ground, fumbling to pick up my limes, but to little avail and continue dropping them. You, being the good soul you are, bend down and assist me. I nervously laugh and say, sorry, I'm bad at pickup limes. <laughs> Marry me, please. This one time a Persian guy tried to fight me. A Persian guy tried to fight you? Yeah, you know what I did? What? I ran. What do you mean? Blocker. Pros. I am open to sharing my Netflix account. Can tie cherry stem into knot with my tongue. Is a model. Can eat 30 chicken nuggets in one sitting. Cons. Uses sarcasm as a defense mechanism. Will most likely steal your sweatshirts. Nocturnal. Will eat 30 chicken nuggets in one sitting. If you can't find Waldo in 10 minutes, you have to give me head. It's 1140. Yeah, well, they've found him. You have Netflix? Yep, I need something new to watch. I know some good horror movies if you're down for it. Yes, please. Horror movies are my favorite kind of movie. What do you recommend? Tomorrow after 7 at your place? And Insidious. Lamal, whoa, hold up. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be isolated in quarantine. We're supposed to be social distancing, bro. Dang, but I'll give you credit. I like the bold approach. Huh? I was just letting you know a good place and time for you to watch it alone. My dog has three legs, and so do I. Ah. If you can make a girl laugh and giggle, you can make her cheeks clap and jiggle. <laughs> Find someone who cares about you as much as Gmail cares about new devices signing into your account. Hey, cutie. Hello, I'm Joe. I like stuff and do things. Read my bio. Do you have Cash App? Already read it. And I do. But I'm too fiscally responsible and not desperate enough to send a stranger money. Also, no. Hi there. Hey, so 18? 17, actually. Yeah. That's gonna be a no for me, dog. Okay, that's your decision. I mean, it's the federal government's decision too, so... Farts push the poop, but if the poop isn't girthy enough, they get out without the poop. Duh. Frick, you're wise. What else are you good at? Baby making and Animal Crossing. Well, you better be good. I don't frick with hose in depth to Tom Nook. Frickin' raccoon is a swindler. So, iron worker, is that like a welder? Yeah, nice. How do you enjoy that? Pin in the ass at times. I bet it's really difficult, to be honest. At times. So what do you like to do for fun? Work. No hobbies? Shooting. Oh, I've always wanted to try that. It's fun. Unlike this conversation. Must be minimum six feet. Sorry, not height, just distance. For now. They had us in the first half, not gonna lie. Name a topic and I'll do a pickup line. Watermelon. If I was a watermelon, would you spit or swallow my seed? Swallow. In my coochie. So your name is a palindrome, which leads me to the question, do you like it better forwards or backwards? Personally, I like it better forward, because Hannah just looks wrong. You got plans tonight? I'm thinking we can get together, split a bottle of sl of it, and make some mistakes. I never make mistakes. Sorry. You swiped right on me, so you've made at least one. <laughs> nice ass. If the script were flipped and I opened with nice tits, Quarter says I would be unmatched. Frick, Mary, kill. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Frick, Theodore. He thick. Mary, Simon. He smart. Kill Alvin. Alvin never impressed me. You know how you can tell the sex of an ant? How? You place them in water. If it sinks, it's a girl ant. But if it floats... My roommate thought that was hilarious. Can I have a roommate's number then? What is the first thing you notice about someone? Usually if they've got any leftover spinach in their teeth. What's your favorite thing about yourself? How I don't have any leftover spinach in my teeth very often. Do you eat a lot of spinach? Not really. That's why I don't have leftover spinach in my teeth very often. In a relationship, but looking to cheat as my boyfriend has corona and is in isolation for two weeks. Oh. Law student, eh? Have you studied Cole's Law yet? Oh my god, no I haven't. Explain. You're in for a treat. Cole's Law is a side dish consisting primarily of finely shredded raw cabbage with a salad dressing. Commonly either vinaigrate or mayonnaise? Unmatched. That escalated quickly. Happy Easter. Exchange nudes? <laughs> It's an Easter tradition, don't you know? It's what Jesus would have wanted. I don't remember that being in the Bible. You need to get a better Bible. What Bible do you have? Kama Sutra. I only go for psychopaths. This might not work out. Oh, sorry, I'm more of a sociopath myself. Oh, crap, this could work. Sorry, I was in the shower. Still craving attention? Low key, yeah. You know, social distancing is only six feet, though, right? Not 85 miles. Too bad we can't be zero feet apart. Or negative six inches apart. <laughs> I match with my ex's dad on a dating app, and I can't tell you how bad I want to date him just so I can show up to a family event. Who's your mommy? <laughs> Hey. Hi. Wow, first time I haven't been the initiator. Something special about me? You're so cute. I was just thinking the same about you. I'm pretty. You're pretty. Let's go home and stare at each other. Hit me with the joke. It's a knock-knock joke, but you have to start it. Knock-knock. Who's there? Oh, Frick. Frick who? Me? We're a good match. Hey, Cameron, are you super bored like me, or are you working full-time? I'm working. Oh, okay, well, bye. Good luck. You're not even cute, dude. Try to unmatch you, but it's too much effort. You've got a weird standard in terms of what you put effort into. One time in elementary school, playing kickball, the pitcher told everyone to move back, and I still haven't received a better compliment. I may not be the prettiest are the funniest, but I'll gag on your ding-dong with full intent of killing myself, so what more do you want? Down for a mega cheesy pickup line? Heh, <laughs> shoot. Oh my. Alright, but for real, I have a good one now. What's the difference between a wasp and a bee? What? A wasp is mean and aggressive, whilst a bee is sweet and cute. Oh my god. Okay, that was a pretty good one, though. You like Dali's photo. Listen, if this doesn't work out, my sister also thinks you're cute. Condom commercials should just be a live feed of couples trying to enjoy a decent meal at a restaurant with their kids. <laughs> When you get a new match notification, but she immediately unmatched you. All right, then keep your secrets. Do you want to know what my second favorite dinosaur is? I'm assuming it's my first favorite dinosaur. Are you assuming it's a Triceratops? Of course I am. So do you want to know what my favorite is then? Yes, please. It's actually in the same family as a Triceratops, the smaller, lesser known Triceratopsus. I'm a, I'm a lover. I'm Hulk Hogan. Hey there, brother. <laughs>
You match with Julia on 8 14 19. EA Sports. It's in the game. And that's a match made in heaven if I've ever seen one. You know, a relationship is a lot like EA games. It starts out just great until the microtransactions come in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, money joke. Okay, funny. Yeah. Chase is 21. What's your name? Who's your daddy? Is he rich like me? Are you really rich? If you're asking if I have above $5 in my bank account, then the answer is yes. Stop me when I say a number too high. $10? Yeah, I'd stop there. <laughs> is that a tongue ring I see in one of your pics? <laughs> yes, it is, lol. <laughs> nice. I've never dated a girl with one before. I was pretty drunk when I got it done. <laughs> Do you do a lot of crazy stuff when you're drunk? Very much yes, lol. <laughs> what kind of stuff? I got kids. <laughs> My man is six foot two, a plastic surgeon, makes great wine, and you know what? When life hands you lemons, he'll make them melons. And really, what, do you, what else do you need in a man? <laughs> How'd you know I was a painter? Think it's pretty obvious. Just take your name and age and compile a list of all the numbers of years old Sarah's in the area region. Then cross-reference newspaper birth records to make a list of potential parents and spent 13 straight hours contacting them about their daughter's favorite hobbies. Then I reverse searched your pics and ran them through a web-based facial recognition program to narrow down the potential Sarah's you might be according to open source online school yearbooks. Then to make sure I had the right Sarah, I noticed an enhanceable partial serial number on your phone in one of your pics, so I then impersonated you in a phishing call to Apple support. And while they had me on the line, I noticed in your Tinder profile bio you had your employment listed as artist teacher at paint night so yeah i guess you could say i did some work <laughs> What's the difference between you and an alarm clock? Well, when you smash the alarm clock in the morning, it stops making noise, but if you smash me, I keep making noise? Uh, you know exactly what I was thinking about, Charlene. So, how many guys try to open with a pun involving your name in the Amazon device? Surprisingly few, but I'm open to the attempt. Oh boy, you're asking for it. Hey Alexa, what's my schedule look like for a Saturday night? You have a recurring weekly event on Saturdays titled, Drinking Alone. Alexa, find me the nearest burn unit. Yes, I have a daughter. Oh, that's cool. What's it like having a mini you? It's pretty awesome. Have you taught her any cool tricks? WTF, she's not a dog. Well, how old is she? Three. Nah, it's not too late. <laughs> Show me a better date. I'll wait. And look at that, they're having dinner and then that squirrel is choking the daylights out of each other. <laughs> you know why they call me Bill Gates? Nope. I love doing charity. Uh, good one. Oh wait, her name was Charity! Oh! <laughs> Uh, round of applause from me. I was about to skip to the next post. I didn't get it, but wow we Hell yeah. Birth control effectiveness. 99% for condoms, 99% for birth control pills, but 100% for my Tinder profile. And that's why I'm the best contraceptive, ladies and gentlemen. Want to stay safe? Talk to me. Catherine. Why won't I send you nudes? Let me remind you of a little movie called Titanic. A girl in 1912 has her naked body drawn in a sketchbook by a random dude that no one has ever heard of. Locks the drawing in a safe in a boat, and that boat sinks, and somehow 84 years later the nude still ends up on television? No one is safe. What would it be like to date me? Ever ordered 10 nuggets and gotten 11? Okay, okay, valid point about the nudes, but think about this. As you said, 84 years later the movie Titanic was made. It pulled an amazing $2.187 billion in the box office and won 11 Oscars and was the real birth of the great actor Leonardo DiCaprio. A movie like that is remembered, not for the nudes, but the love story that these nudes helped blossom into the romance of the century, envied by many. Not only could these nudes be the start of your own great romance, but think about the royalties your own film could bring in another 84 years. Yes, yes, I hear you, but I won't be around for the royalties in 84 years, but Catherine, your children will reap the benefits for years, so Catherine, don't do it for me. Don't do it for you, but do it for our children. This is far and away the best opener I have ever heard in my 23 years on this planet. I read it to my mom, not even kidding, and she briefly discussed with me the idea of sending you a nude purely for the comedic value of this message. You've just clocked Tinder. Well done, sir. And the thought of setting our children up for life now, that's definitely tempting. He just earned a purple heart. <laughs> this man. Chanel is 21. She's a photographer and she lives in Leicester. You hear that? Leicester. I read all your comments making fun of how I said it. She lives in Leicester. <laughs> I've been told my mom's a MILF, so I'm an investment. Nice. Kayla, don't even bother flipping a coin, because your chances of getting head are already at 100%. Tinder girl's bio? Not here for hookups. Tinder girl's on the first date? I've... <laughs> I've come for your pickle. <laughs> And that's, that's my reaction. SpongeBob's reaction is mine. But then it turns into Squidward's. 
Corey is 18 years old and he's a diesel mechanic and union operating engineer. Six foot one. When I go out, I only drink whiskey. Straight. Meme game stronger than your depression medication. I have sailed around the world and discovered a shortcut. I bowl overhand. I once had an awkward moment to see how it feels. I gave my father the talk. I have won the Lifetime Achievement Award twice. To settle a wager, I killed two stones with one bird. I go to Spain to chase the bulls. I have taught old dogs a variety of new tricks. And even my tree houses have fully finished basements. So I guess you could say I'm a cool guy. Sorry, I got really into that one. <laughs> Why are you so freaking cute, but so freaking fat? Oh my god, far. I meant far. <laughs> Good job, Mike. You're an idiot. Damn, girl. You look like a fun night out. I have a dong. Holy frick, so do I. Let's 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 dock. Let's dock him, sweetie. Hit me with your best pickup line. First day on Bumble, Melinda? Still unclear how the whole message first thing works. But I did message first. By making me do the picking up? Nah, fam. Yes. Woo me. And it better be both playful and a little risque. <sighs> Fine. Are you the SAT? Because you want your parents to cry when they finally see me? Not quite blank, because I do you for a four and a half hours with a ten minute break for the snacks in the middle. I'm docking you for originality, but I'll allow it because you're cute. Are you a farmer? Cause I'm a tractor to you. Are you a tractor? Because your pickup line really sucked. Are you the hit 2008 movie Marley and Me? Cause you're gonna make me freaking cry. <laughs> Jess is 21. Bot check. Say avocado. Free shavakadu. Oh, she's real as it gets, buddy. Hey Aspen, you have beautiful eyes, but I'm not looking for something very serious. I'm looking for more of a friend that I can have really hard fun sex with after we become friends and get to know each other. I don't know if you're open-minded for that. Bruh, my name's Emily. You got called out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler's 26. Just looking for a girl to hit it off super well with, delete Tinder, get into a relationship, fall in love, and then tell me that you're not over your ex, and that you just want to be friends. Stephanie. I, I, I didn't forget that, Stephanie. Me looking at all the blurry pics of people who liked me and trying to decide if it's worth it to upgrade to gold. The struggle, poo. The struggle. Aw, thank you. Your piano skills are very wooing. <laughs> Thanks. Just good with the fingers, I guess. Well, that's one way to put it. Tell me what you're good at. I mean, I play with basketball, so I'm very familiar with balls. I play baseball and always had the biggest bat on the team. Then she sent Senorita by Shawn Mendes. Back on topic, he goes, hey, what should we do if we decide to hang out soon? And she goes, maybe some missionary work. Woo, that's spicy. <laughs> I love that. Hey there, dude with an interesting mustache, which actually looks intriguing and good. If you ask me, you're the one who looks intriguingly good. I dig the nose ring. Oh, thank you. What's the secret to that mustache, which doesn't look like pubes for once? Ah, oh, crap. The secret is actually pubes and glue. He's been found out. <laughs> Kaylee's 26 and lives in Fontana. You might not be able to smack my butt when I go through the door, but you'll get VIP parking. Oh, definitely won't go hiking with you. Also, will not walk out on your life. Hey, she's loyal. We like that in a girl. Hey, can I be honest with you? Yeah, what's up? I want to wear your thighs like earmuffs till you finish so hard you waterboard me. I'm going to have to unmatch you and I hope you understand. <laughs> I understand. He had a simple request. <laughs> I'm new to both being an amputee and to being on Tinder. Try to make some jokes about it. How'd I do? Should I change some? I traded my right leg for the person of my dreams. Just waiting for him to show up. I'm an amputee, so if we were to go out, you'd definitely have a leg up on the competition. Many people took one look at me and assume I'm an IHOP guy, when really I just like to eat out. Ah, I'm an overachiever. When my dad told me to break a leg, I set out to exceed his expectations. Oh, oh baby, we gotta keep coming. Just looking for that one person that'll send me <laughs> this is a good one. I like this one. Just looking for that one person that'll send me head over heel in love. I I'd keep going with these, but right now I'm a bit stumped. <laughs> got him. <laughs> Head over heel. I normally start with a joke. Best one I got is a knock knock that only works when you start. All right, knock knock. Who's there? Anita. Anita who? Anita dong inside me. Sorry, Zoe. I'm waiting till marriage. Your ancestors who are married and had three kids by the time they were 20 watching you struggling to walk past a girl and they're like, mm, no, 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 this isn't gonna work at all. Kill, screw, marry. Me, Boris Johnson, Brad Pitt. Kill BJ, screw BP, marry you. LFAO, Brad Pitt sucks. No, 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 no. You Screw Boris Johnson, take pictures and then blackmail him for money and political power. You marry Brad Pitt and instantly make millions more and then kill me because I want to die. That's how you do it. I don't normally like guys with the name Kyle, so I really hope you're different. He's like, hey, yeah. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Hi, I'm good. And 16. Oh no. Just to let you know. And how are you? My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. 
How's it going, Lily? Or shall I say, why? <laughs> What's a little why? Kenzie's 19. Cons, stubborn and sarcastic. Pros, loving and sarcastic. Love getting tattoos, hate getting piercings. I will challenge to smoke you out and I will miserably fail, TBH. Not looking to just hook up. Yes, I'm in a wheelchair. Yes, we can skip lines at theme parks. Yes, we can park close. Yes, I can feel my legs. And sure, I can give you a ride. Oh, Kenzie. <laughs> Hey. Hey, Blank. So, you love animals too? Unfortunately, my dog's in Florida, so you can't see him when we meet up. I have eight pets. Oh, cool. What are they? Three dogs, five cats. You should get a lizard. No, thank you. Are you sure? With your dry conversation, he'll feel right at home. Hey, so I'm a pretty upfront person, since I've been through a lot of crappy relationships, lol. Anyway, do you believe in Jesus? Are you willing to wait for marriage? Do you have a car and a job? If we make it this far, are you willing to pick me up and pay on the first date? I'd quit using that as your opener, to be honest. Instead, try, hi, I have red flags, and date me, lol. Would save me a lot of time reading that sentence. Hey, I think you're really cute, by the way. I know this is way too forward, but my ex-boyfriend was eight inches and thick and hurt so bad I ended up in the hospital with stitches. My first two, however, were like four to five inches, so I don't date men who are bigger than six inches, if I'm being honest with you. I hope that's not a problem, because I know you can't help how big it grows. Nah, nah, don't worry, my dong's small as hell. Gentlemen, gentlemen, what did I tell you? All these years. <laughs> it's not about the size of the ship, it's about the motion of the ocean, baby. <laughs> We are 512 miles away, so if we met in the middle, that would be 2,256 mile drives. Log 2 times 256 equals 8, which makes sense because I would hate to not give my log to you. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, but it was a good opener. Hey, good looking. You're getting more likes than ever. Oh, really? What do we got? Zero likes. Right. Zero likes. Okay. This year in August, you match with Penny. You should change your name from Penny to Dime, because you're a 10 out of 10. That's cute. That's a cute one. Wait, are we number neighbors? Uh, are we? Uh, let me check. What's your number? Oh, smooth. That's the best thing I've gotten on here. Here's your prize, and it's her number. He's done it. He's won. Hi. Hey, Blank. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, just a little overburdened with work. Sorry if I'm taking long to reply. Can I make it up to you with a cheesy pickup line? Yes. I'm going to report this to Spotify, because it didn't show you on the hottest singles this week. Ah. Oh, I'm not single. I'm here to cheat on my boyfriend. Wait, you're what? Kindly choose from the following. A, cheesy pickup line. B, bad pickup line. C, interesting fact. D, recipe. C, interesting fact. You've got my attention there. Did you know? Male penguins look for smoothest of pebbles to present to a potential mate to express their love, somewhat like a proposal. And did you also know that I have an awesome collection of pebbles? Who allowed you to collate interesting fact with a cheesy pickup line? Uh, I know it's against the rules and I'll get in trouble for this, but what better way to approach a lawyer girl than to get into trouble and have it get you off? <gasps> Hey, snap me if you can. Private Snapchat. Ah, well then, I was looking for genuine conversation. It's okay, G. You'll find the right girl for you. Don't let my hustle get you down. She's out there. Trust me. This was the most wholesome interaction I've ever had on Bumble. Well, it's the truth. I know it's rough on here finding real people that just want to get to know you. Sadly, I'm not one of those people, but I don't want you to think every girl on here is like this. 